Hello everyone. In this session, we'll continue with the uh, navigation and routing. So what we are going to do today is uh, create like this uh, invalid hash. Uh, so uh, let me go ahead, open up the manifest.json file that I have here. And then if uh, there are some f uh, hashes that are invalid, then we want to uh, redirect them to like a not found page. So let me go ahead and show you how that's done. Uh, so what you can do is here you can have uh, something called a bypass. Um, so so like I had mentioned before, this config section, this uh, has all the default values. Uh, so if there is a hash, uh, so like I said, this is a single page application and everything is stored after the hash. Uh, so if there is a hash that doesn't have a particular route, uh, then we want to go into target invalid. And then let's also define the target invalid here. Uh, so if it is a target invalid, then we want to go to uh, not found page. So I will go ahead and put that here as well. Uh, so if it is, if, um, so basically what we're saying is if there is, uh, the hash is not found, then we want to go to this target uh, invalid, and then we want to go to this view name not found. Uh, so let's go ahead and create this not found uh, 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 view. Uh, so I'm going to create this not found dot view dot xml and let me go ahead and copy and paste like a bare minimum uh, not found page I guess this does a little bit more than just a bare minimum so it has like some not found title uh, some text and some description as well there is a control message page here um, so we need to add these values to the i18 file uh, and let's also go ahead and create the not found controller as well. So let me go ahead and create a not found dot controller dot js. And for that, I will copy and paste the code as well. So for this, what I'll do is I will just copy and paste the code from home dot controller dot js. So I will copy this code. Uh, go into notfound.controller.js, paste it here, uh, change this to not found. Uh, so we have the not found for the, the view and also the controller.js. Uh, so I think we are all set to run this. Um, so in our manifest.json, if the hash doesn't match any of these, uh, so basically we only have one route. So if it doesn't match this uh, empty hash, then we go into target invalid, which goes and shows not found. Uh, I believe we need some i18 values as well. So let me uh, let me go ahead and paste that as well. Uh, so in my i18 file, uh, so in my not found, I have a few i18 properties. So I have uh, the values here as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and run it. Uh, so I'm going to run it. So the first one is going to match the hash. Uh, so when we run this, this is going to match the hash. Uh, it goes into the home page. Uh, this is the valid hash. So what I'm going to do is at the end of the URL, I'm going to go with a slash and say this is invalid. I mean, I can put whatever I want here. So I put this is invalid and hopefully, yeah, and this one takes me to the not found hash. Uh, so this is what we created, the not found uh, uh, view.xml. Uh, so all is good, except that uh, we don't have a way of uh, going back. So let's go ahead and uh, fix that because I want to be able to go back to my home page. Uh, so let's go ahead and fix that. So I go into my not found view.xml and here I do want to make sure that I want to show the navigation buttons. So let me go ahead and put this here. Um, and this will sh at least show me the navigation buttons. We don't have the values yet. We don't have, so we are basically saying, hey, show the navigation button. And then when you press that navigation button, I want to run this method. Uh, but we haven't uh, defined this method yet. Uh, so let's see what happens now. Let me refresh this page. And hopefully uh, this should show this page, uh, this uh, back button, um, because we still have this hash uh, that says this is invalid. Uh, 
So if I click on this hash, nothing happens because we haven't actually specified what happens when we click this button. Uh, so for that, let's do some cleanup here. Uh, so this nav button to go back, uh, we are going to be using it from all the controllers. Uh, so this is a common method that all the controllers might or might not use. So what we can do is uh, we can create like a parent class uh, so and uh, have it defined there. So I'm going to call this call uh, this parent class base controller dot js and notice that every other controller is spelled dot controller dot js uh, but this one doesn't have any view or anything so that's why we have it specified like this so we don't accidentally think this is part of a view or anything like that uh, so we have this base controller dot js and here I'm going to paste in code for the base controller dot js uh, that we can use from all the other uh, controllers if we need to uh, so let me go ahead and copy that code and throw it in here and let's see what we are going doing here uh, so this is the base controller and here we are going to specify this on back function so this on back function I can then because the not found controller since it will uh, we'll make sure that it inherits from this uh, base controller and then we'll be able to call this on back function. So here in this on back function, uh, we're doing a couple of things. Uh, well, before we go in there, it's uh, so um, in the on back function, we're doing a couple of things. One is uh, we're finding the history. So we are built, uh, we're bringing in the history module here and we're also, so we're getting the history and then we are getting the previous hash. So the previous hash in our case is going to be, let's do a console log s previous hash. So this is going to be our home uh, hash. Uh, so it, it's supposed to, it should be an empty string. Um, and then if this previous hash is undefined but in our case it's going to be defined uh, we want to go to home so nav to home and home is the name of our manif if I go into my manifest.json this is the name of my route and this will take me to home uh, which is uh, going to be the target home which is going to be home.view.xml so um, so this is what I'm going to do. And what I want to do also is I want to make sure that all of these controllers now, uh, they all, uh, they all uh, 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 inherit from the base controller. So let me go into each of the controllers. So let me start with app controller. And here I want to make sure that it inherits from the base controller. So it should be inheriting from com slash sap dot routing one slash controller slash base controller. And let me bring that in as a module. Let me copy this here as well so that I can use this for other stuff. And here I make it base. So basically, this app controller is now extending this base controller. Uh, and I want to do this for the home controller as well. Because even the home controller, at some stage, I may need to use functions that are in the base controller. Uh, and I will bring that in as a module as well. And same thing with not found controller.js as well. And this is key because this is the one that's actually calling this function. Uh, so I will put base controller here as well. So at the, and let me also bring this in as a module. So at this moment, I have uh, on my not found view.xml, I have a back button. Uh, and this back button is going to call on navigation back. And if I go into my not found controller, I don't have on navigation back, but I'm extending it from base controller and base controller has on nav back. And uh, so if you notice here, there's a way to get the router 
and this we are getting it from the component.js so this is a way to get it from the component.js uh, so once I get this uh, router and this router like I said SAP UI5 we have uh, it has powerful functionality now this allows you to nav to so there's a method called nav to and then you provide the name of the route uh, and if I go into my manifest.json the name of my route is home and it is going to take me home and if all goes well I should be able to run this app I should be able to go back and forth uh, so if I run this app I should go into home and if I go all the way and and put like some hash invalid hash it takes me to this not found and if I click on this it takes me back home okay that's it uh, for this session folks thanks